everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video I want to show you the Bundle Monster Lotus Mat. And this is one of the Christmas presents that I had got um, from my husband. And it came in the mail pretty fast. I got these off of Amazon. And when I searched um, stamping mats, there was like two that came up. And this is one of them. This came with two, uh, well there better be two in here, because I got two for $18 and I think $0.19 cents, uh, free shipping. So, and this is a, you can stamp, swatch, and create. So it just comes in a package like this, and my box was a little bit um, mangled, but that's okay. So let's see how, okay, so I think it opens down here. Okay, so there is two in here. So that is a relief because I didn't think there'd be two. Um, so that's all that was in the box. And then it also came with this. Um, it is Cheer 15 to get 15% off with your code. This is from, you can use this code at bundlemonster.com. So if you um, decide to purchase anything from Bundle Monster, use the code to save some money. Okay, so I do, I did get two, um, just, you know, just in case. I don't know if my dog eats one or if I accidentally rip one or something so let me move this so we can get a clear white background if I could pick it up my desk is so messy okay so um, another reason why I decided to get this is because if you can see um, all this mess down here. I don't really want that. So hopefully I can use this to, um, you know, help save my desk, which I did get this desk from Ikea. Um, so here is the stamping mat. Let me see if I can zoom out. There we go. Alright, uh, this has five, uh, square, well, rounded square tips and then um, round ones so that is pretty nice and they're fairly large like my thumbnail is long um, and it's clipped but it's pretty nice size and let's see here you can also uh, stamp over black or do your design or paint over the black to see what it would look like and then it also has the logo down here And then it has um, a little, oh, what's this called, a roller. And this is in centimeters. And then millimeters, I think that is. So this looks like a pretty good mat. Uh, I don't like that crease right here. You see that crease? But that's okay. So I am going to test this out and do do like one or two things um, to show you how it would work. Um, in another video I want to show you different things you can do with the mat that I have seen um, that I have not tried out myself because I didn't have one of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a few things ready and stay tuned for a little demo. Okay so first I want to um, try to make a decal and Decals are kind of a little tricky for me. Um, I haven't I haven't done one in a long time. Also, like uh, what's it called? Advanced stamping. So I'm glad to have this mat. I'm hoping it works. But I'm gonna start using um, what plate is this? Uber Chick plate two of set three, and I'm gonna do this image right here. And when doing a decal. On the stamping mats, you want to put down a clear top coat first. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Good 
And then I am using Sesh Vite, which I don't know which would work better, um, a clear polish or a non-fast drying top coat or a fast drying top coat. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. And then for stamping, I'm going to be using Scandalous Shenanigans from China Glaze, which is a really nice blue polish to stamp with. This is um, a regular polish, not a stamping polish. And then I'll be filling it in with UV Meant to Be from China Glaze. This is from the Electric Nights collection. And also Snow Me White from Simple Colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and give that a minute to dry and then I will continue with the stamping. Okay, so while I was waiting for that to dry, I did um, add some top coat to the rest of the nails. Well, three more of them. Uh, this one has a hair in it, but that's okay. This is just for testing. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that image on the nail that I already applied the top coat and it has dried. Again, this is Scandalous Shenanigans from China Glaze. And you can also take this and wipe it on the mat as well because you can clean up with acetone. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to use a bunch of acetone. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill in with China Glaze UV Meant to Be and Snow Me White from Simple Colors. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let that dry, and I'm going to apply some silver polish on the stamping mat, if I have, actually I'll just do, um, I'm just going to use L'Oreal Mask Affair, and I'm just going to apply this on the stamping mat, so when the decal is done, I can place it over this, just to show you, um, what it would look like on the nail if if it was going on the nail and that's another cool thing you can do is paint um, like a little sample of what your idea is and see if it would look good so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry I'm going to add another layer of top coat which I don't know if you need another top coat or not but I'm going to do it anyways after that has dried and then when the whole thing is dried I will come back and show you um, how I'm going to lift it off and then apply it over top of this to see what it would look like. Okay so I decided not to do another top coat which I added a layer of top coat onto this one. Let me see if I can get this brighter. Okay, so uh, this is not completely dry yet, but this is the tool that I'm going to go ahead and lift it up. And let's see how this works. Um, Nail Stamp for Fun here on YouTube showed this um, little trick to bend the mat, and it kind of lifts it off and gets it started for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. So actually, this works pretty nice, and I'm excited. So uh, let's just pretend this is the nail. And let's go ahead and place it on there. So that's what it would look like. And then you would just want to... Um, Use acetone to clean up these edges that would be hanging off your nail or you can trim it before you put it on your nail and then top coat and then you're finished. And while I was waiting for that to dry, I did do um, a few stamps uh, and I noticed that when stamping on this mat, it didn't um, get the whole image. So as you can see, I used regular polish 
and you can stamp over the black to see what it would look like. And that is that. So, um, overall, I am excited that I have this mat. I'm hoping that I can keep my workspace a little bit cleaner, which I still have, uh, let's see here, all this uh, extra space down here, which I'll probably just have like a white piece of paper or something, but this is um, a really good mat uh, if you're starting out. And you can also do the exact same thing on your stamper, which you might end up damaging your stamper if you're new to this. But I find that this mat is a lot easier. And I'll leave a link down below to where you can purchase this from Amazon or Bundle Monster. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have um, any ideas that you would like for me to try, uh, leave a comment down below. But in a future video, I do want to try a few different techniques on this mat. So I'm hoping that they work. So I hope that you found this video helpful. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.